Oh, don't rub your pheromones all over me. <laughs> so I have it on, oh, there she goes. I'm her property now. No, you're not getting me too. Don't go in there. <laughs> I'm testing out this new camera lens. It's my first ultra wide lens. We talked about it on Kaylee's second channel, her vlogging channel. And I'm really testing it out to shoot some pictures later, which is kind of the point of this video as well. But there's also a new mic up top. Same mic, but my friend Matt fixed it up, which is beautiful. Awesome to have it back. It should be sounding good. We're in West Virginia right now, which is where Kaylee is from. And we're driving from her hometown to Charleston which is the capital, to do some thrift shopping, get some food, and we're kind of just stopping there on our way to the Greenbrier, which is America's Terrible. It's this hotel probably two hours away. Should be a really pretty drive as well. That is super preppy, just disgusting American dream afternoon tea country club golf course that whole deal but just really interesting really 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 interesting but that's sort of the point of this video because we're taking our wardrobe and we're going thrifting right now and seeing if we can use that environment or leverage that environment that i just talked about and create some sort of really cool photo set out of it so this is either going to be some sort of outfit challenge video or maybe just a travel vlog or just me testing my camera and nothing coming of it. But I think it is. It's like four stories. It's beautiful. Believe it or not, this was not a setup shot. No, it really wasn't. <laughs> We got some stuff right here from Stray Dog. I always want to say Grey Dog from Stray Dog Antiques. You got a dress, I got a few different things. You'll see that soon, but we're at Goodwill. We have just checked into our room, as you can tell. This wallpaper. You might have seen myself a little face wash. Cute. <sighs> I don't think you're really supposed to drink tap water here, honestly. I'm not, po <laughs> I'm not positive. <laughs> There's just been issues in West Virginia before. Wow, we feel so close, it's crazy. <laughs> if you want to see what this looks like from the side, look at our tripod. Here's the video of the tripod and how gosh darn close we are. <laughs> We're about to shoot some pictures. So first we want to show you what we got and why and how and where. So the first thing is that vintage store. I just want to start off by saying it was downtown. It was this nice double decker vintage store and it was so cheap. Seriously, so cheap. Not even cheap because the items were really nice, yeah. but inexpensive, I should say. Yes. So I might as well start with the 
daintiest item. You guys know how it goes. This is a tie. I don't even really know what to say. I think it just captures a mood really well and I don't know what that mood is. There's just something about it. So what this actually is, is a Hampton Hall Limited Hotel is my best guess. I think so. Tie, it has this right, this red, has this red script on it that just lists a bunch of cities or locations of their hotels or some shit like that. But it looks like some ritual scripture, like half horrific, half as in whore, and half dad corporate. Yeah. It's right in the middle. So it's this dark navy with this red, just little red details I think are really strong. You saw it in that twin. Uh, you'll see it with Kaylee's dress here in a second, mm -hmm. but the twin show of Undercover where they had the final looks being those shining looks with just little red details on top, that red lace, and it was incredible. So I think this is sort of the same idea, but also not the same at all. But I hope you guys know what I'm talking about with that. And I'm going to share mine first because yours is the big pickup. It's half really elastic knit on the front and then a little more mesh like woven on the back, a little more structure, sporty, maybe like 80s sporty. I don't even know what decade this is. It's so all over the place. The pattern, huge collar point. This, for example, was $8, which is an extraordinary deal when all of their menswear, they didn't have that much, but all of it was pretty nice. This is also what we got from that store. Probably my favorite thing out of all of this stuff. Nice, yeah. It's the only thing I got as well. But it's a prairie dress, which I've been interested in getting for a while, actually. They're, they show up on Depop a lot, but they're usually $200 or $300. This was $30. And it really reminded Avery of The Shining, which yeah. I feel that. And we think it's perfect for this hotel and all their decor. Big old Goodwill bag. Yes. It was all me this time and you didn't get a thing. But you one didn't item. Really find anything. Yeah, it was rough. But one item was from the women's section, which is just this really big corduroy shirt. Steel buttons. Not much to say about it for here and now, but I thought I might as well share it. Honestly, I don't even know how much this costs. I don't know how much any of this costs. Because altogether it was $22 with tax and a small donation which is crazy because you guys will see how much stuff is in here anyway. This is pretty cool. <laughs> this shirt. It's this terrible, terrible, terrible Kuwait tourism tee. I don't even know how to describe it. The colors are so beautiful. The t-shirt is really nice. And I think it's just like a form of, insp uh, not foreign, but a source for inspiration. Mm -hmm. Absolutely disgusting, absolutely beautiful. Do you really like this or do you really hate it? I actually really liked it whenever I saw it. Yeah. When I walked over to you. I don't understand how it ended up in that thrift store yeah. though. Someone must have been on vacation. Yeah, I guess so. It could, it could only be. They have like a really modern city. Okay. Should I do this one next? Mm -hmm. Kind of similar in the grossness to beauty ratio. This, I should show you the back first. So this is what I originally saw on the shelf. It's this awesome green, red, and black really thin striped plaid polo. It's almost like a golfing shirt, if you will. It has a really nice boxy shape. Perfect, perfect, perfect for this hotel and shooting some pictures. But when it comes to the front, there's this terrible logo. So I'm just going to try and layer over it in pictures or just remove it in post. And then in the future, once we get home, I'm gonna try to do something about that because I think this is an awesome, awesome shirt. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Love the fabric, but that definitely ruins it. Yeah. Yeah, I wish we could have you guys see these fabrics up close and personal in hand. This boy is crazy. There was a few of them in the store, and this one fit me the best. Golden corduroy jacket. Mm -hmm. This one's a little bit big on me. It has some structured shoulders. It's pretty long in length, but I need it so that the sleeves fit me, which is really important for our photo shoot. Lastly, I got some pants. I was looking for like some stone colored pants. I've mentioned the 574 Dickies model, hunting those down in St. Louis when we were thrifting. But instead I got these brand new with their tag on them. I didn't them. even notice that they were brand new when you showed them to me. Hagger. I'm not familiar with that. Are you I don't know Hagger? No, I don't know Hagger. Neither do I. Oh. But 
magic stretch. I don't even think these have any stretch to them. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, damn, we should have gone ice skating when we got back. Is it too late? Yeah, I It's probably so. too late. <laughs> this says Winters, has a little speedometer on it. It has a pretty cool strap and it's just a black hat. Love the white rim and that's it. Dollar, $22 for all of that. For all of that, that's like two outfits right there. Easy, maybe three. Yeah, maybe more. <laughs> Anyway, don't want to hold you guys too long. We're about to go out and shoot some pictures at night. Hopefully we can find some okay lit areas and I really want to experiment with my flash on my SLR. And then tomorrow morning too, before we do some other activities and go home and whatnot. But I'll bring my phone out there when we go walk around and hopefully we can get some good pictures and put together some good looks. Cause honestly, we have nothing planned. But it should be some fun. back in New York. Hope you guys liked how those photos turned out trying to manipulate this very bubbly patterned uppity hotel in the middle of West Virginia and turn it into some terrifying world with these certain characters and two different characters at that. So Kaylee and I sort of had individual looks going on. If you want some more info regarding the outfits or maybe you want to listen to a fitting soundtrack alongside the photo gallery, then I'll link the blog post at the top of the description. I'm sure some of you guys have seen that, which is awesome. The first look I subtitled Crooked, which was me right here. And that was this dirty cop styled look. I went with that very slimy corduroy blazer golden but in a very gross way very old school especially the way it fit with those overly structured shoulders which i think sets a certain tone then a, another shirt i thrifted the white button down that i actually cut across the bottom it has a little bit of distressing but instead i just tucked that boy in and the tie very criminal those little red details script terrible but in the perfect way for this, of course. A good way, terrible. Pants are these ultra wide, straight legged virgin wool pants by Yang Li. The one shot where the character is sort of stepping over the viewer. I think the super high waisted pants with the very old school pleats along the waist is huge. It's super powerful there. And even being so high up, they still lay atop my boots, which were the Alix hiking boots. These were the best shoes I had for the shoot and they weren't fitting with any of my other test shots, which some of you guys saw on my Instagram story, the other test outfits, I mean to say. And those shoes I was wearing sort of as this general issue agent boot, if you will, like in the police academy, something you would get there. I'll talk more about shoes and shots later, but Kaylee's look was this very haunting young woman, colonial girl, prairie dress, a perfect, just something out of a classic, very mysterious horror movie. There's just something really charming about that sort of slate blue gray prairie dress. Just with the dress, the tights, the shape of the loafers, super traditional. But where it differs here is those loafers are actually some Prada loafers from last season that we got on sale this winter. And they just have this awesome slime green effect. Very gross. On that blog post, I sort of attributed them to being like this underworld country club loafer, something you'd see around there. And those are the two looks that we ended up going with from all the different stuff that I, <laughs> I purchased. Hers was a given, it was so perfect. But we're still waiting on the flash enabled SLR pictures to get developed and all of that, uh, which I'll share at a later date, of course. But this whole video was just wanting to try and create this world out of such an uppity, place that we were so interested in that's so renowned from Kaylee's area, whatever. And we just didn't have the Stotts wardrobe, which we thought we'd have. I didn't have 
any sort of derbies because I didn't bring them along with the trip because I thought I'd have the, of course, I tweeted it, the Moulin corset boots, which I've been tracking down forever. So those are gonna replace any nice shoe that I were to bring on a short trip. And they're gone. They got stolen from our apartment or never delivered. We're still tracking it down. We're still trying, which is really funny. Uh, so I was limited to those special agent boots and that's why I went with the Crooked Cop, which I thought was awesome. Uh, turned out really, really well for just thrifting on our way to this resort and putting it together with our non stotts wardrobes. But it's just close at the end of the day and it was super fun just to try out this new camera, take some pictures and be able to share it with you. Um, just like fun, practice, everything about that. Just super fun getting to try out new things with the camera, with costuming, anything like that. But it was just something fun for us to do on our little vacation out there for one night. And I'd love to hear what you guys think about the pictures and what it reminds you of, movies, runway shows, anything like that. But until next time, I guess everyone do me one last favor and have a good new year for me. Happy 2018 to you guys out there. And until next time, I already said this, but that's okay. Have a good day for me. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.